it's me, Candice Michelle, and welcome to my Black Pinups YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make waffles on my vintage waffle iron, which I'm really super excited to show you because I've only used it twice, but it's from the 1950s and it's all chrome, and it was only $5, yes, $5, and it's in immaculate condition, like, did they even use it? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm also going to be using my Pyrex mixing bowl, which I'm super excited, so... I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get into it. So here's what I have. I have my Crustias Buttermilk Pancake and Waffle Mix, my vegetable oil, my Pyrex mixing bowl with my whisk and my spatula, my vegan margarine, my 100% grade A maple syrup from Canada, and my two cups of water. So now let's get started. So now I'm getting everything prepared and I am taking the pancake and waffle mix and I'm putting it into the Pyrex bowl and I don't ever measure, I just kind of go by eye. I don't know why, I just, the measurements that they had were so much and I'm only one person and I have a small stomach and the measurements called for four to five people. So that's why I just gauge it by the eye. And what I just did was I was uh, kind of like leveling out the mix and now I am adding in the water. And again, I just go by eye. I don't go by measurements. Um, I did have two cups of water just to be on the safe side. So now I am whisking. And as you can see, this is the beautiful Pyrex bowl that I got. Add at the ring for about ten dollars. I'm really excited. I can't wait to add to my Pyrex collection. It makes me very happy. So now I am whisking away until everything's smoothed out. I get my spatula just to look for any lumps. See if there's any mix that didn't sit well. So now I am getting the vegetable oil, checking the waffle iron, just to make sure that it's nice and warm. And now I'm spraying every little bit of the waffle iron, all the nooks and crannies, because I have failed a couple of times with the waffle mix sticking because there wasn't enough vegetable oil spray. So now I'm just checking, just make sure everything's nice and warm. And now I am pouring the waffle mix into the waffle iron. I backed out so you can see the, the waffle mix in the design of the Pyrex bowl. Always make sure to cover as much as possible. I was a little worried because I felt like I didn't have enough mix, but it covered pretty well. So now I am closing the lid and I let it cook for about maybe five to seven minutes and I'm constantly watching over it so it doesn't burn and believe me it burns pretty quickly. So now here's the final result. So now you have seen how I make my waffles on my vintage waffle iron for only five dollars that I got it for. <laughs> so uh, the thing about uh, vintage appliances is that because of the wiring, you have to 
make sure that it's able to work and then just blow a fuse like I have done in the past. And, <laughs> and you also want to make sure that it doesn't cook too quickly. Um, that's what my waffle iron does. Uh, once it's heated up and it's going, it will brown very quickly. So I have to always be on my waffles to make sure that um, it cooks evenly. And the great thing about it is that on the other side, it's a grill. So I am going to do a video on that, the other side of the waffle maker iron. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Black Pinups Magazine and Instagram. All right, well, everyone have a great day. Bye.